So I'm here to talk to you today about African American history. Specifically to tell you that African American history is American history. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, well, I already know that. Why is some lanky 15-year-old on stage telling us stuff we already know? Well, actually, I'm not 15. Um, I'd appreciate if you guys could help me dispel this rumor, in fact. It would be, it would be helpful. Uh, but more importantly, um, in my experience, we only think we know that minority histories are American history. In reality, we tend to separate them. I'll give you examples of what I'm talking about. Uh, as David alluded to, for the past three years, uh, I've been part of a team of people working on America I Am, a nationally traveling uh, museum exhibition. Um, and the goal of the exhibition is to demonstrate the imprint that African Americans have had on the development of the United States. And to accomplish this, we use a combination of artifacts, video presentations, and immersive environments throughout 12 galleries, uh, each of which deals with a specific period in American history. One of the artifacts in the gallery pertaining to the Revolutionary War era of American history is a 1776 print of the Declaration of Independence. It was one of a small number of prints made uh, on the evening of July 4, 1776 by John Dunlap, a printer based in Philadelphia. Now when I tell people that this rare document is included in the exhibit, is being featured in America I Am, more often than not I get asked, well what does the Declaration of Independence have to do with black history? And my response is, how can this document, which set the tone for America's discourse on race, not be considered pertinent to African American history? The fact that our nation was founded on the philosophical principle of equality, while it remained firmly rooted in the economic principles of slavery, is extremely important. How do you talk about the grand ideals of democracy, equality, and liberty, and yet, allow the harsh realities of slavery to exist. And it's no wonder that you can find this paradox at the center of many of our nation's intellectual and physical conflicts. And this document warrants inclusion in the exhibit because, at least in part, it is a physical representation of that American paradox. In 1903, the black intellectual W.E.B. Du Bois posed the question, would America have been America without her Negro people? And there's no doubt that slavery constituted the economic foundation of early American society. And in that way, Africans actually built the initial wealth of the nation. But beyond material wealth, enslaved peoples brought their cultures with them to America, which enriched our country and profoundly affected who we are as a people. In short, there simply is no America without African Americans. I think we need to reacquaint ourselves with American history, reminding ourselves that we're a diverse nation with a story that is equally diverse. And my hope is that by doing so, we'll come to a greater awareness of our shared culture and a fuller understanding of what it means to be American. <laughs>